Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'll be showing you how to make a shift to sprint system. It's pretty simple, so let's just get straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is head over to Explorer here on the right, create a local script within the starter GUI, starter pack, or starter player, either one works. We're going to create two variables for our two services we'll be using today, which is context action service. And we'll be using this to know when a player clicks something on their keyboard, so context action service. And then the other one will be our tween service, which we'll be using to animate the camera to make that zoom out effect. So game, get service, tween service. We'll be creating a variable for our player, which is game, the player is the local player. Another one for our character, which should just be player and then dot character. And if I haven't loaded in time, we're going to be doing player dot character added. Wait, and like I said, it will just be this line of code here will just make sure that the character has loaded in time before continuing if the rest of the code. From there, we're going to get our humanoid, which will be character. And I'm going to use wait for child, which just makes sure that the humanoid has loaded in time before continuing. From there, we're going to get our camera. So game dot game dot workspace dot current camera. And then we're going to do one more variable, which will be called sprinting and this is just to check that if if the player is sprinting currently and by default we're going to set that to false from there we're going to create a empty function just called sprint and we'll be using this uh, later on so action name and an input state as the parameters and I'll explain that in a second we're going to head down here and use our context action service and bind an action and we're going to name it just sprint we're going to um, put in our sprint function here and then we're going to set the third parameter to true, which makes a mobile button. So this is mobile compatible. And then we're going to get the key, which we actually want to press, which is our left shift, which is for our PC players. Now, from here, you can actually keep an adding um, multiple keys if you want to. You can even add uh, controller inputs if you really want that um, compatibility. Anyways, let me explain these two parameters up here. Action name is the action of or the binded action that we're doing, which we've named down here sprint. And then input state is what state of the press are they in? So let's say they just press down shift. The input state, which will return will be begin. If they've let go of shift, it will either be uh, end or cancel. And we'll be checking that to make sure to know, uh, know when to remove their speed and do that camera effect. So to do that, we'll be doing input state equals equals uh, input state over uh, here, actually user input state, and then here we can see all the states which we want begin. From there, we can um, set sprinting to true to make to know that we they've started to sprint, and then we can actually change their walk speed, which will just be changing how fast they walk. And we'll set this to let's say 32, so double of the default, and you can change this number to whatever you want. Just know 16 is the default. Uh, from there, we're going to use our tween service. We're going to create a tween. We're going to enter the camera into it. And then we're going to do tween info dot new. And then we can just choose how long the animation wants to be. 0 0.1 seconds is really good. We're just going to use that. And then we're going to create a variable. Sorry, create a table. We're going to put in field of view because that's the property we're changing. And we'll just set this to 80. So the default field of view for Roblox is uh, 70. So from there, we are going to play the uh, uh, tween here. And then from there, we can write else, which just means if it's not, if the input state isn't begin, so if they if they're letting go of the key, then we can stop their sprinting. So all I'm going to do is just copy and paste this code up here down to here. And just set this to false. Set this back to 16, which is the default uh, run speed. You could make a variable that stores the default, so you can just go back to it. And once you, you can make a variable to uh, change to the speed you want instead of doing just doing a number. From there, we can change our field of view back to 70 once they play, and that's pretty much it. If we click play here, and then when we click uh, shift, I actually have an error here left shift so when we click play here and go into our game if i click left shift you can see our camera zooms out and we start to pick up speed when we run around and when i let go it stops and that's our shift to sprint system 
pretty simple. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe and bye.